Good evening, and welcome to St. John Chrysostom Church. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Most Holy Trinity. The presider at this Mass is Father Hallinan, assisted by Deacon Bowie. Blessed be God the Father, and the only begotten Son of God, and also the Holy Spirit, for he has shown us his merciful love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. I can't tell you how wonderful it is to uh, see all of you uh, today. To think that it was in mid-March, uh, that we shut down during the uh, Lenten time. And I think we all had in our mind, hopefully in two or three weeks, we would be back, never thinking it would be two or three uh, months. So uh, I feel like you're going to all stick me up. But uh, other than that, <laughs> it's, a great, uh, it's a great feeling, uh, you know, to see uh, you know, uh, each and every one of you. As we gather this evening to uh, celebrate God's love, and that's why we are here, because God's love has drawn us here, and we want to share that love with one another, let us place ourselves in the presence of our loving God and call upon the great mercy and tenderness of God. Lord Jesus, you have shown us your mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, you are a God of tenderness and compassion. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you rescue our souls from death. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the, in the highest, highest, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
reading <clears throat> from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up Mount Sinai, as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins, and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory, Glory and praise, praise forever. forever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways. Encourage one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. Alleluia, alleluia. For the Lord's name we part and we lift to you, the King of Holy Gospel, glory to the Lord, and the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Again, I just want to... Uh, Welcome all of you for uh, coming tonight. 
and his, we uh, open up our uh, church. We have had uh, funerals in the church, uh, a good number, unfortunately, a good number of, of funerals the past uh, three months. I've had three uh, coronavirus weddings, uh, couples that I said to them, you can have 10 people, and they said, Father, we want to get married so bad, we want to come. And uh, just uh, Friday afternoon, uh, I had a couple uh, here that was uh, married, and it was as joyful as if uh, a couple hundred people, uh, you know, were in the uh, church. But, uh, you know, this is the opening uh, that, you know, I have been uh, looking forward to. Uh, I was getting a little... Uh, it's the word claustrophobic over in the uh, chapel. I stood there in front of that camera for three months and, and didn't move. And uh, so it's good to be, uh, you know, back uh, with you and, uh, you know, encourage people uh, that are, you know, cautious to, to be patient with themselves, to take a take and see, uh, you know, go slow and, uh, Hopefully, in time, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be better with this. But uh, we're, we're trying to keep everybody as healthy as we can by the, you know, the blue tape that you see and the hand washing and all of those uh, different things with the mask. I'll put my mask on for uh, communion when I give out communion. But, uh, you know, it just is uh, wonderful uh, to see uh, all of you tonight. It really brings my heart uh, so much joy. Uh, as we know, uh, we're experiencing uh, two pandemics uh, in our world. We're, we are experiencing the COVID-19, the coronavirus, and we know that that virus has taken uh, many, many uh, human lives and that we have been uh, basically quarantined in order to protect uh, our health and to protect the health of our uh, society. So we have been doing that, uh, and we have tried to be patient with ourselves and with others uh, in abiding by the guidelines and regulations that have been handing on to us. The other pandemic that we are dealing with right now is the pandemic of uh, racism uh, within our uh, country, uh, within our world. And uh, unlike the coronavirus, uh, racism can kill our soul. Racism can kill our spirit. The coronavirus can't get to our soul. The coronavirus can't get to our spirit. But racism can get to our spirit and can get to our soul. The Lord tonight, it was almost as if he knew that we would be going through what we're going through in our world. Uh, the second reading, very, very short, but very, very pointed. And we start out, this letter is from a uh, letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Uh, if you have good memories, it's uh, 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 13, verses 11 to 13. But the opening sentence, I, think, I, I believe, captures our sentiment tonight. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. And I believe the fact that uh, you are all here, that uh, we all share in a moment of rejoicing. That you have been yearning for church, you have been yearning for the Eucharist, and here we are. So we rejoice. But then Paul goes on to say, men your ways. Mend your ways. And I think Paul is saying to us 
that we need to repent. Racism has been, unfortunately, with our country since its inception, and it continues in our country even to today. When we saw George Floyd on the television, we couldn't believe what we were watching. We couldn't believe what we heard. I can't breathe. Jesus, who was on the cross, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And with that, he had his last breath. We saw George Floyd as a human being, and through the eyes of faith, we saw George Floyd and Jesus Christ dying together. They both breathed their last. Jesus, as is our teaching, calls us to love one another. Jesus Christ invites us all to remember again and again and again that all of human life is made in the image and the likeness of God. And so it's important for us as individuals it's important for us collectively as a faith community, and it's important for us as a country that we examine our own consciences and to ask of ourselves, as St. Paul says, do I need to mend my ways in the ways that I think of others that are a different color from me. St. Paul goes on to say, as we examine our consciences and as we try to recognize where it is that we need to change, he comes back with something positive. He says, encourage one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. How many of us have had our hearts warm as we have watched the news and we have seen police officers taking a knee with the protesters? How many of us have had our hearts warm when superintendents of police departments have not only taken a knee, but they also walked with the protesters? Agree with one another. Live in peace. Our laws can change to try to prevent racism, but if our hearts don't change, laws don't mean anything at all. It's our own hearts that need to change. And then Paul tells us, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss, all the holy ones greet you. Monsignor Stevenson, who predates me and maybe predates a lot of you that are here, uh, he saw it within his wisdom to have a stained glass window of St. Martin de Porres put in 
this church. I remember when I was still mourning over no longer being at St. Martin de Flores, and the first time I came into this church and I saw that stained glass window, it was as if St. Martin de Flores winked at me and said, I got your back with these white people. That's what I felt when I saw that. And I continue to have that affirmation. But Monsignor Stevenson, he was thinking ahead of his time. And through each of the stained glass windows, he wanted to communicate a story. And Martin de Porres was the first state excuse me, the first saint of the Americas. And so Monsignor thought it was important for anyone who would bear the name of the community of St. John Chrysostom, it would be important for them to have a love and a respect for the message of who St. Martin de Flores was and who he continues to be right now. So as we come to God, and that's what you've all done today, you have all, you're the first ones back at St. John Chrysostom. Your heart was feeling the movement of the Spirit. Let us try to do the things that Paul asks of us. Let us try to rejoice. Let us try to mend our ways, change our hearts if the hearts need changing. Let us greet one another with a kiss. Let us allow the word of God to transform our hearts so that our parish can be transformed, our city and country can be transformed, and our world can be transformed from this original sin that we have that's called racism. And I think from the majority of the nonviolent protests that we're seeing is that this is for real. It's not just a, a flash that's happening for a day or two. This is real, and I really hope it takes root in each and every one of our hearts. God bless you. Is Marjorie here? Being that everyone has masks on, I don't know who's who and who's here and who's not here. Marjorie, come on up and take a, go up to the top step. And, oh, good to see. and you know what? If you feel comfortable, because we're standing six feet away from you so the folks can see you, uh, Marjorie has been in our uh, RCIA program. And uh, Marjorie is a... Uh, Christian of uh, the Greek Orthodox Church. And uh, so she has received uh, all of her uh, sacraments. So we're not going to rebaptize her or reconfirm her or anything like that because we acknowledge her uh, sacraments is valid. But what Marjorie has been preparing to do is to transition uh, into the Roman Catholic Church. Uh, tradition. And uh, I did not know how, uh, what do you call it? I did not know how, number one, important this is, but uh, even a, a little bit more, how complex, uh, what, what do you call it? Marjorie and I have written letters to Archbishop Perez. Archbishop Perez is going to write a letter to the Pope on behalf of little Marjorie. So you can tell people you know somebody that's connected to the Pope, okay, because that's uh, you know, Marjorie, 
And uh, so tonight what she's going to do is uh, make a profession of faith, which, will, which should have happened at the Easter Vigil, but because we weren't allowed to have people at the Easter Vigil, we weren't able to do that. So, and we're gl glad that Greg is with her. Uh, Greg is correct, right? Good, okay. Sometimes I call him Craig. He's with the faithful band. So when I say Greg, I'm always hoping that I'm right. Okay. Marjorie, of your own free will, you have asked to be received into the full communion of the Catholic Church. You have made your decision after careful thought under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. I now invite you to profess the Catholic faith. In this faith, you will be one with us for the first time at the Eucharistic table of the Lord Jesus, the sign of the Church's unity. So Marjorie, I would ask that you please repeat after me. I believe and profess all that the Holy Catholic Church believes, teaches, and proclaims to be revealed by God. Marjorie, the Lord receives you into the Catholic Church. His loving kindness has led you here so that in the unity of the Holy Spirit, you may have full communion with us in the faith that you have professed in the presence of his family. And it's a sign of our joy for welcoming uh, Marjorie into our communion. And I'll give you an air hug. <laughs> All right? We're happy, and we're happy you had a great sponsor to be uh, with you as, as well. And I hope you folks over the years get to interact when we're allowed to interact again. Uh, she's a very joy-filled, uh, spirited uh, person, and she's going to be a real great addition to our uh, parish family here. So welcome again. I believe in one, one God, God, Father, Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we celebrate the mystery of the Holy Trinity, let us bring our prayers before the Lord. For the Church, drawn from all nations and languages, may our triune God guide and sustain us as we proclaim the good news of the Kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all in civil power and authority, may the Holy Spirit enkindle in them hearts for servant leadership, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For those enduring trials and challenges in life, may they be uplifted by the loving presence of God and the support and compassion of the community of faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all of us gathered here in worship, 
May the communion of love he outpours for us in faith and increase us in holiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they take their place at the eternal feast in the kingdom of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for Mr. and Mrs. Bob Fritz and their family for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O holy God, great and beyond our imaginings, we rejoice to call ourselves your sons and daughters. Hear these prayers we offer this day through Christ our Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord, our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they claim, Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, 
and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you will set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy, the religious, and all of God's people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please stand. <clears throat> At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, kingdom, the power, power, and the glory are yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, you take away the sins, sins of the world. <clears throat> <clears throat> Grant us peace. For the uh, distribution of communion, uh, there'll be a Eucharistic minister on each of the side aisles. <coughs> I'll be in the center aisle. And what we would ask that you would do is form one single line. We're not doing the double. Uh, one single line. And if you would, if you're not in the same family, if you would try to keep six feet 
uh, between you as you come down the uh, aisle. All right? And just be patient with yourself. This is all new to everybody, so just be at peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that they should enter my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, as you exit, uh, please take your time. Uh, you'll be able to exit out of the three, you know, the one out front, the two on the side. The ushers will open up the doors so that you don't have to uh, uh, touch the doors. And again, if you could just go slow and try to leave that amount, five, six feet, uh, in between you and the uh, next person. Tomorrow we'll have mass at uh, 8 a.m. and at 10 a.m. So if you have any other family or friends or other parishioners, you can uh, alert them to that. And again, uh, thank you for being uh, the experiment. Okay, we were all, I forgot to put my mask on when I gave out communion, uh, but I, I think I'd give you all an A plus for uh, how you did uh, tonight. And uh, the, the guidelines say, don't greet your people. So uh, me with my handshake and everything, uh, I'm gonna work on that, keeping my hands in my pocket uh, so that I don't, uh, that inclination to shake everybody's hand or grab you by the shoulder, and, and hopefully in a period of time, uh, you know, we'll be able to do that uh, a, a again and not lose our humanness. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a great night.